like the kind of people you'd like to know, don't they? Of course, right now, they're dressed for their Friday dates. But don't you have the feeling that they're always well-groomed? I'm a guy, and I know why these guys do this. The bottom line is this, lady. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm so Calm down a bit here, Kelly. If it's a legitimate rape... I'll let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all... You've probably seen some of these cringeworthy moments before. They span from politics to pop culture, but they have one thing in common. A wildly overconfident man interrupting, shushing, and holding forth on a topic that he might not be the most qualified spokesman for. This phenomenon has become known as mansplaining. Funga make fire? Yes, funga make fire. Funga should use spark rock to make sparks. Funga using spark rock. To start fire, Bunga should use fluff grass and tree skin. Bunga has fluff grass and tree skin. Bunga should not use itch leaves. Bunga know how to make fire. Itch leaves make itch. Itch bad. Here, I'll draw a picture. Bunga understand. I love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. What's what? Well, just talking me through how how well by not answering the question by repeating processes which are not related to the question that I've asked. What's mansplaining, Senator? Well, it's the slightly patronising and condescending way that you're responding to my questions. Well, I would suggest, Senator, that if you're putting the word man in front of uh, some description of what I'm doing, you're doing that which I'm sure you're very much against, is making a, a sexist implication about how I'm conducting my role well, as a man. Well, then, the easiest way what, to do is it... What, is that what well, you're saying, Senator? Well, what I'm saying is that the way you've been responding to me has been patronising and condescending, and I have responded to that. So the easiest by, by way to deal saying, with this is not, is, not to, imagine, Senator, is not to, to have that way in responding splaining. to the questions I've asked. Imagine the reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman-splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude... Doesn't, doesn't make By rude senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. No, I'm not. Do you want to reconsider what you said, Senator? No, I don't. You don't want it? No. You don't want it? So do you remember that time that someone used a term that insulted and marginalised you and then went on to give a really logical argument about what was wrong with what you just said and you were totally convinced that they were right? Exactly. That never happened. Hey Ace, did you know that only 28 out of 100 senators are women? We have to change that! I mean, it's like, what do you girls think? Yeah! Because so often women aren't given a voice in society. I mean, also, did you know that last year only 13% of the top grossing films were directed by women? That's bad. Thank you for saying that. Oh, you're welcome. But there's also so many small things that women have to put up with every day that we don't even realize. They're called microaggressions. Is that true? Yes. You know, I'm sure every woman in this restaurant has a story about microaggression. I mean, look at this table. Probably every single one of these girls has a story to tell. Yeah, they must. <sighs> Crazy to think about. Can you, I finish my sentence? No. Hey, hey, Mrs. Shut up. Hey, Kelly. Hey, I'm sorry, go ahead. I didn't I I didn't I I didn't I not I I not I I I Putin doesn't control everything that happens Very in different. Russia. It's I know, but getting, the, but it's, we're getting absurd now. <laughs> you guys know what mansplaining is? That's a new term. Do you understand what that is? Yeah. Now, mansplaining is when a guy has a point he needs to make, but his girl doesn't listen. She's on Snapchat <laughs> making a zooey and pull out of her face. <laughs> So he explains it in a clear and concise way that she'll understand on the first day. They're not even listening, guys. He's <laughs> when a guy has a... <laughs> doesn't like it. Have you ever been mansplained, mansplaining by a dude? No? Does a feminist get her wings when that happens? How does it work? <laughs> So you've heard 
heard this term mansplaining, like when a man explains something to you in a patronizing way and it's something that you already know? Yeah, so let me spell that out for you. It's actually M-A-N-S-P-L-A-I-N-G, mansplaining. And how about this term, manterrupting? When a woman is explaining something Actually, and a man I think that I heard around. about that term. Yeah, hold on, let me um, let me Google that for you. Yeah, so it's uh, it's when a man starts interrupting a woman when they clearly know what they're talking about a little bit more than he does. So I came up with this new term. It's called procreating. It's when a man takes a woman's idea and passes it off as his own. But that was my idea, and I told you that a week ago. Yeah, just talk and I'll correct you whenever I feel the need. I'm just giving you... I love the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. You're loving what? The mansplaining that's going on. Mr. Speaker, I'd rather have an answer than the mansplaining on the me. Man